Well hello, I wanted to make this video quite short and to the point but I wanted to cover everything I do to brand a music artist so I wanted to go through the whole process so you know what to expect and how I do it and then please let me know if you do it differently and let's discuss. Okay so the first step is I would talk to the artist in depth, find out what they're about, what their message is, get keywords that they think describe them, obviously listen to all their music, get them to explain where they want their musical direction to go, where they think it is at the moment, get an idea of their personal style or the style that they, if they have any preferences in that area. So I'd basically collate as much information about the artist as I possibly can. Then I would do an initial mood board of the overall aesthetic like this. So this is just an idea of colours, themes, just getting an idea of what they're about and creating that initial visual. So after that I would then develop this mood board further. So I would look at specific things to include and you can see from this one where I've taken it. So like textures, candies, like specific things that could be props specific things to focus on when creating like artwork or videos and sort of any main themes that came through from the initial mood board. From this I would also look at fonts and then create a logo. So the logo doesn't have to stay the same all the time like exactly but I think there should be elements that do stay the same. Ideally the font is what I would keep the same throughout and then change it as the aesthetic develops or have multiple logos around the one logo. So there is some variation and there can be different logos used for different things but so there is one thing that brings it all together and one consistent thing throughout. After logo I would look at social media content and channels so I think doing having five or all the channels is too much for one artist and I think that you need to look at the type of artist their personality and their skills and like focus on two channels so it gives them two focus channels to put the energy into and you can still have the other channels but I think having two is the most important thing um, also not every artist is equipped for all the channels like some are going to do much better than others on each platform so I think that's definitely something that needs to be considered so here I would look at which two to focus on and then come up with some content plans so some artists would be veered towards YouTube some would be Instagram if they like photography and they're much more visual it totally depends on the personality and the individual skill set and their personal preference. So for anyone who's politically driven, I would direct them to Twitter and so forth. This just allows you to get the most out of the platform. So you can by all means say my new single's out now and have the same graphic on each channel, but to really utilize it to the best you can and get the most value and the most reach out of it, you need to cater to what does best on each channel and what people expect when searching or browsing on those channels. You're competing for reach, so you need to adapt and cater to each platform. Then after deciding on those factors, I would then look at the visual elements of social media. So come up with a visual sort of plan to match their content. So this would be thumbnails for YouTube or a theme for Instagram. So match the visuals to the content and to the channels and make it all fit and work consistently. Then after this, so equipped with all these things, I would then look at the album artwork and the music videos and the sort of more standalone projects. But I think all this stuff is the foundations to a brand and to a visual aesthetic and that all the other things like the videos and the photo shoots, promo photos, etc., need to be done with all this stuff in mind. And so it's consistent and so it just develops this further. It can, they can still be standalone projects, but they need to have a, they need to have been considered with this stuff as well. So everything is aligned. And then going forward, there's also sort of merch design. Which merch do you just want t-shirts and posters and the sort of standard? Or is there something a bit more individual or quirky that you can come up with that really helps to support your brand? So merch design and sort of promo materials, all those things can then be decided based on the brand 
and the visuals and not just sort of generic things churned out. This is everything I would go through in order to build a visual aesthetic brand, whatever you want to call it, for a music artist and I think this aspect is really important and sometimes forgotten or not enough consistency is put into all these things to really build it and develop it as time goes on. But that is what I do.